Today we're going to learn how to sharpen a shovel the old school way. This is a Lansky lawn and garden tool sharpener. This is a sharpening stone and this time instead of using a power tool to sharpen a shovel we're going to use just a sharpening stone. So I'm going to dip the sharpening stone in water. I like to do this and then I'm going to just keep rubbing like this. It takes, if you're doing it by hand, it takes longer than using a power tool, but it's much simpler. And you can just wash the rust off a little bit and keep working at it. See, I'm, uh, there's a little bevel here on the side of the shovel. You can see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put a little bit of an angle on the bottom of the spade. Uh, you could call it a bevel or a just an angle. And the idea is, is that the shovel is almost like a dirt knife or like a chisel. It just sort of cuts through the soil. Why would you want to have a sharp shovel? Well, there are a lot of roots in the soil, especially if you're gardening, you need to cut through the roots. And if the shovel is sharp, you can you can get a very nice, nice precise cut in the dirt. Or if you're if you encounter a small root, you can just cut right through it, which is very handy. Let's keep let's keep sharpening. See, I'm just moving back and forth and I'm holding the sharpening stone on a little bit of an angle, whatever the angle is that I want, and I just keep working at it. And you can see it's, it's removing metal and rust. Some people like to sharpen without water, some people like water, some sharpening stones are better dry and some are better with water and some need oil, you have to read the instructions. And see what works best for you. See, it's, it's just a round movement. With a shovel, you don't care too much about the burr because once the shovel is pushed into soil, it's gonna sort of wreck the edge. It won't be super sharp for long, but it'll be pretty sharp, much sharper than it would be if you didn't sharpen it. And that's how you sharpen the shovel. See, on an it's a little bit on an angle like that. And I'm just going round and round and round. And just be careful because you could you could wear gloves. Um, just because once the shovel gets very sharp, you can maybe cut your finger. So just be really careful. The advantage of a sharpening stone is that it doesn't need any power. And it's also very small and it's very simple to operate. There's no moving parts. So it's, it can be very handy. And it does a good job of sharpening garden tools. That's getting nice and sharp. People who have nurseries often sharpen their shovels because a sharp shovel often gets a, a better result when you're gardening.
you can see there's a nice edge on that shovel. This is a medium grit stone. And the way stones work is the rougher the stone is, the more material it, it takes away. But on the other hand, when this, the stone is rough, it doesn't get as sharp of an edge. So what you usually do is you start with a rough stone and then you move to medium and then you move to fine. If you want a really, really sharp edge. This is a medium stone, which is, which is a good compromise and works great in the garden. You can see it's a nice long stone so you can get a nice big movement in with it. It's nice for sharpening a shovel because it's so big. You can sharpen other things with it as well. Once I'm done with this stone I just rinse it off a little bit, get the metal off of it and the rust and the dirt. And then you just let it dry and it's good to go again. Once I'm done with the stone, I just rinse it off in some water and let it dry and then it's good to go again. See if you have a root or something in there, you just sort of step on it a little bit and it and if it's a small root it'll usually cut through because it's the shovel is sharp. And you can get a nice clean get a nice clean edge. The soil is gonna is gonna wear the edge off a little bit. The soil is, is going to dull the shovel a little bit, but that's okay. That's fine. It doesn't have to be razor sharp, but you just want a, a little bit of an edge on there. Works a lot better. You can see the shovel gives a nice sharp edge because it's it's been sharpened. So I can I can just cut really accurately and can slice through some little roots. It's very easy to do. Thanks for watching and have a great day.